having constitutionally adopted the principle of human rights, I therefore insist not the Bible, but the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which states in Article 1 that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights. They are endowed with reason and conscience and should therefore act towards one another in a spirit of brotherhood. The Philippine Constitution strongly embodies this respect for deep respect for the dignity of every human being and guarantees full respect for human rights. In keeping with the principle of universality of human rights, recognition, respect, protection, and fulfillment of all human rights should therefore be accorded with no reservation to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and intersex persons. Because they face abuse, discrimination, persecution, and even death because of their actual or perceived sexual orientation and gender identity or expression. It is now time more than ever for this legislative branch of our government to come to terms with the lived realities of LGBTI persons. It cannot, we should now discard this, you know, this, uh, discussing this very particular particular issues on the basis of things we have not, you know, and that does not define our new realities. Um, it is now time for this Congress to respond to the very forms of violence and discrimination the LGBTI persons experience on account of their sexuality. The Magna Carta of Women, the local embodiment of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, of which the Philippines is a party, enshrines the principle of non-discrimination of all human beings and prescribes discrimination on the basis, among others, of sexual orientation. Now, I'd like to deal a little bit to the points that were raised earlier by other resource persons and members of the audience. Um, earlier, it has been said that how can we protect LGBT persons? We don't even know them. You know, who are they? Questions like that came, came up. Well, in response to that, we have this, you know, we, we have this line that said, you know what, if you're out in public and you can't figure out a person's gender, follow these steps. Number one, don't worry about it. Because you know why? As Congressman Marcolet has pointed out, you know, employment, for instance. You know, is it important for an, a prospective employer to find out was a sexual preference of uh, an applicant? Does it go? Are you supposed to focus only on his, his or her competencies and skills and not who, who he or she chooses to love or have sex with? So don't worry about it. But it doesn't matter you know, in, 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 the, in the equation, where it should not matter in the equation. Somebody said that there are no international laws or but that are binding or obligatory on the, on the basis of so, um, on matters of Saudi. Again, we beg to disagree. Uh, our colleague from the Commission, uh, from the Amnesty International, and you will see um, human rights, uh, in the human rights discourse. There has to, it doesn't, uh, human rights, you know, uh, obligations of human rights doesn't have to be specific on Saudi. Because again, we see that human rights is seen as well, with, for instance, Sedo, it has been um, uh, created in 1981. It came into force in 1981. Well, it's a fine. People, LGBTI persons, may have been too afraid to even come out and say we experience this kind of discrimination. Said so, all, if you look at the, the text of the convention itself, it doesn't have the word violence against women. It doesn't have it there at all. But it has not stopped us from bringing to fore a particular problem that is experienced by certain groups of people. We cannot say it's, it hasn't been there, so it should. It hasn't been there in the past, so it should not be here in the present. We cannot say that. We cannot stagnate. We have to move on as humanity. We have to move on and civilize human beings to recognize problems and address these problems. They, as somebody has said, that this will allow marriage between two persons. Again, the 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 the, the bill is very clear. It doesn't say amend the family code. If some creative LGBTI person will go to the court and say, you know, because of this, 
You know, we want to get married. Well, let's leave it to the courts to decide that. Let us not preclude the courts in their constitutional duty to decide how to interpret the law. Now, if you really want the law to prevent that, then, as the Congresswoman um, put out there, then we express that not nowhere in this bill should it be interpreted to mean allowing same sex Okay, um, on class legislations, some, people, some resource persons said that we cannot have an anti uh, solely discrimination bill because LGBT are not recognized as black. We will elevate them to a class status. They do not exist lawfully. Are you saying that right now LGBT persons exist unlawfully? Now, they are not recognized as a class or status. In answer to that, um, there is no need. Like women, for instance, there's no law that says women are those who are born with vagina. Now, there is no particular law that has to be passed in order for a magna carta to come to be, in order to for the Women in Nation Building Act to come to be. There it is not a requirement. A law recognizing that certain people is not a prerequisite. It will however, recognize a certain problem that our society is beset with. And that is the function of Congress. That is the function of the legislative body to bring to fore no? the discussion and to the, the protection of the state, a particular problem, so that it can be addressed by the state. The Congress, in its wisdom, in its legislative wisdom, no? can do, define, a certain class of people can do define us and elevate to the attention of the public a certain problem that is confronting certain uh, a certain group in society. Walang pangangailangan, somebody has said, no? Because the constitution is there, we respect, we should respect each other as persons, regardless. That, that was the, the argument. And I would say, yes, we should respect each other as persons regarding it. However, right now, LGBT persons <coughs> are not being respected because of their perceived sexual orientation and gender identity. And the perceived, by the way, applies to sexual orientation and gender identity and not to the definition of discrimination. Um, for the information of those um, excuse me. Yes, that yes. yes. okay. I mean, yes, okay. Um, somebody said not do not impose your values on me. Again, as closing, I would like to say the only value that we want to impose on you is the value with actually the obligation to respect and protect human rights and as duty bearer to put in the enabling environment for their reali realization, exercise and enjoyment of the human rights of all people. LGBT persons are persons too, and yet they deserve protection respect and fulfillment of their Thank you, uh, Jenny. Uh, maybe also request you to submit your uh, form of briefing. Uh, now, uh, as you request Pastor or uh, post of call of the intercessions, intercessors of Christ Philippines.
So in other words, there is no absolute rights. Only God the truth is absolute. Ang tanong, who is the absolute truth? The absolute right. Then, meron po kang nagiging itong person, sex, class, ethnicity, religious and political beliefs. Siya po tinignan mo kasing ethnicity or class or sex. It is something to do with the definition of etymology, the origin of the word. Di ba po, di ba po, ng origin of the word, di ba po, ethnicity, yung source niya pinanggay. Isang ba ng galing, itlo. Ano, ano, itlo. Yung ba, isang laki ng galing niya. So, in other words, uh, ano ba kung meron yung mga dito discrimination? Bakit meron discrimination? Is it so affliction? Or a consequence of a choice? No? choice? Or really a discrimination from the state or from other people groups? So, ang sabi dito, meron daw discrimination which is a violation of inherent human rights or dignity as enshrined service to you and what makes a state a state on the basis of democracy not necessarily under UN for America otherwise you are not a state or democratic form of government kung lagi ka na nakuha ng mga sa ibang state we are under the rule of law not under UN sabi nga rin ko sa ano ko sa inyong libro ko hindi ba ako nagsasabi ko ng Biblia So, kapag sinabi natin dignity, ano ba ibig sabihin ng dignity? Pupunta ka naman sa epimology niya. Dignity is something like honor. And dignity is something that you really work, uh, you really have to work hard for. So, kaya kapag may discrimination na sa dignity mo, sa human person, ang tanong niya, is it self-affecting? Or a consequence of our choice? Or talagang violation na sa human rights? So, masyadong troubling yung the word discrimination because the word violence and discrimination is actually universal. And so, he could not ano, uh, masabi na talagang sila yung parang well-identified kung kawawa sila kasi violence is universal. Harassment is universal. So, kung titignan ko, lahat po yung, parang, hindi po ako mababatas, pero ito observation ko lang po. Kung babasahin ko lang po yung aking, tapos nila na po kaya, kung nila nilalabis ako sa first time sa kongreso eh. Bakit, bakit kaya ang sogi naghahanap ng rights? Yung nakalagay naman sa Article 1, Section, Article 3, Section 1. No person shall be deprived of life, liberty, and property without due process. Well, ano ang rights pa kaya naman natin? Uh, section 2, Declaration of Policy, sabi niya, The state recognizes the fundamental right of every person regardless of sex, age, class, status, and the lawyer. So ito po yung sinasabi ng soul, hindi na medyo na-question ako. Then, uh, when a certain right of a group would offend another right of another person, parang yung sinabi niya, yung transgender pumunta sa babae na CR. So gusto niya exercise ang right niya, pero yung right ng babae na violate. Sino ba ang mas merong right doon? Yung right ng lalaki na binigay ng kongreso, o yung natural right? Ano ba natural right mo? Yung sex mo. Pang babae yung CR na yun eh. Kaya sabi nga isang speaker, why, bakit ka makukonfuse sa gender mo? You know, the, you know your gender by the time you were born. Tignan mo. Diba? That is the natural law. So, when a legal law or constitutional law violates the natural law, when you do make a threat, we have example, evil. It's a natural law, may depart. Ngayon, ang science, ginaya niya, you know, not science, innovation. Nagkaroon ng addition. So, ngayon, halimbawa, natural law, lalaki ko ba eh, Inubang mo yung natural law by constitution ng mga amendments or a bill like this. What does it mean? When an, ano, I mean, a bill or a constitutional amendments would violate the natural law, ang laking issue po niya, it is something to do with morality issue. Otherwise, you raise the word morality or dictionary. Kung wala ng morality, 
Kaya nga meron po tayong standard of norms. Uh, Republic Act 6713, the ethical standard, there is norms. Tignan niyo po kung anong ibig sabihin ng norm sa dictionary. Normal. Kung wala sa normal. Anong tawag? Kasi is standard eh. There is a standard. So, in other words, not all right are essential, beneficial, or moral. You cannot use your own freedom or rights for a wrong purpose or motive that results for a consequence, consequence that can either make, ano, mag, mag end up sa good or bad. So, uh, sabi po rito, no religious test shall be required for the exercise of civil or political rights. Sabi po ng institution. In other words, whether ikaw ay galing ka sa kumbento, pastor ka, o italista ka, satanista ka, you can exercise civil rights like this that we can air, ano, air our consequences. In other words, you cannot legislate a bill that's making it a law that it, that it rights other uh, to exercise their own civic and political rights, like the religious group, the atheista. So if the law contradicts with another or higher law, there is a question of morality issue there. Section 3, discrimination, katulad niya, limbawa distinction. Meron po kayong nakita kaninang actual or perceived. Masyado pong na, ano, nakakatrobo yung perceived. Halimbawa, tinignan kita, masama yung, ano, interpretation mo sa pagtingin ko, liable na ako for imprisonment for six years. In the court kasi, there should be an evidence, not imaginary, not a pigment of the imagination. And yet here, by the word perception, makukulong ka na. Kahit na yung interpreter, mali ang interpretation niya tukol sa perception mo. Sabi ko, mukhang may problema ang gumawa ng mababat, mababatas. Mukhang hindi alam yung grammar o definition ng mga English nito. Sorry, sorry, sorry to say that. So, article 3, section 1. Bakit meron discrimination when the Constitution already provides uh, no one shall be deprived of life, liberty, and property? Pagkas kanina, hindi mo daw pwedeng discriminate ang sugi in terms of education. Also, the Constitution provides for that. Ang sabi niya, uh, Article 14, Section 1, the state shall protect and promote the rights of all citizens to quality education. So, if your academic rights are violated, I mean that person or organization shall be liable. So, meron na tayong rights. Bakit ano pang inahanap ng rights and so few when comes to that? So, uh, Inherent human dignity. Ang sabi kasi ng Soviet, sabi niya kasi marami ng violation against them. When I was listed as age 6, nasa yung batas na ito? When I was raped. Dapat akong buwan na magsusulong sa batas na ito because I was raped. But a wrong can never be corrected by another wrong that would spread out quote-unquote perversion. So in other words, whenever you will be using terminology, pwede ka nang kasuhan. Because the, uh, they, they will, uh, ano, their rights will be abused by using the wrong terminology. Yung baba pati, iayaw nila yung ganun. Di ba? So wala pa akong discrimination kasi may mga kamag-anak rin pa akong ganun. <laughs> It's getting very interesting, but oh. I hope it is one. Okay. okay. Ano? So gender, ano? The family recognizes. Uh, the constitution recognizes the family is the very foundation ano, of the nation. And it is an inviolable institution, and the government should protect the right of every living family. And according to marriage, no? Um, sabi niya gano'n, it is marriage is a special contract between two contracting parties, between male and female. So from there, alam mo na yung gender mo. Nakalagay na dun eh. So, in other words, if any bill 
would violate the right of the parents, which is the very fundamental law of the land. Medyo delikado tayo. Kasi ang sabi nga doon, the family is the basic unit of society, and there are some questionable people that would somehow assail the subject. Then sabi po nila, well, hindi, there is a separation of this in the church. Yes. According to some constitutionalists, tanggalin na natin yung preamble, baliwala yan. But according to Sinko, you cannot take away preamble. That is not imaginary, but vital and substantial. Whenever you take away this preamble of the Philippine Constitution, you take away, take down the Constitution. We, the sovereign Filipino people, imploring the aid of Almighty God, naghahanap ka ng katulong o tulong ng Diyos na may kapal. According to the Constitutionalist, ano ang Sylvia? Sino ba yung Sylvia? To say the word senior, they changed divine providence to Almighty God that refers to the unfaltering reliance of the Filipino people that it is God who creates the destinies of men and nation. In other words, it that will be the case that God creates your destiny, whatever your gender is. I know you can have a personal choice, but still be distinct. Yung sex mo, makikita mo yan biologically. Di ba? So, presuming lang na hermaphrodite ka, I don't know whether you know hermaphrodite, one person, two different sexual organs. Makikita mo naman kung may ovary yun o wala. It's still the natural choice there to confirm. What is your specific sex? So, Jose Noleto said, sabihin ko lang po ito, the reason why the Constitution is very strong when it comes to human rights, ang sabi po ni Jose Noleto, it is aptly said that human person is created in the very image of God. And every human person must be uplifted. Kapag sinabi ang uplifted, mas pupunahin mo siya kaysa sarili mong pag-survive. Kaya lang, kung siya ay image ng God, every human person, lalaki ka, babae ka, tumboy ka, bakla ka, look, what is the very image of God? Is it gray, dark, or light? Is it good or bad? Otherwise, kung natin yung